Sir, sir, are you okay? No pulse, no breathing. Starting CPR. Abby, if you'll throw a chemo at that IO. On your cycle, if you'll use a feedback device. Yes, sir. I'm going to go ahead and add nasal cannula for passive oxygenation. Cycle, I'll let you know if you need to push it. Okay. 
Alright, Paul. We're still in B fib. Shocky one, shocky two, start CPR. Go ahead and give that 150 milligram. Alright, and run. 150 going in. Amio is in. Thank you. And we still have good entitled CO2. We're secured. Alright, good. Okay, the next step is we're going to get the Lucas device prepped. And we're going to start with the board. Alright, it's been 10 minutes with feedback, so we'll go ahead and get that integration. Alright. On this, we'll rotate into the patient's left and slip this board underneath. Start CPR. After this, we're going to assess the rhythm. If it's shockable, we're going to shock it, and then we're going to wait for the loop. Okay. Seven five. Charging. Shocking one, shocking two. Go ahead and attach the Lucas. Alright, connect my side. Are we good? Secure. Alright, I'm going to mark it. Watch the migration. Alright, I'm going to get the straps. Sir, sir, are you okay? ¿Quieres hablar en español para el todo? Cena or no? no? I'm trying to figure out how to say, no, my name is not Annie and I'm not okay in Spanish. No, mi nombre is no Annie in Espanol. Oh, see, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. That looks right. like a Edward. Yeah, yeah, it does look like an Edward. He's not doing very well. Mm -mm. But man, we're doing good compressions here. I'm liking that. There go that the defibrillator pad pads, yep. It's good popcorn. Oxygen. Plug it in. Monitor's on. That's, that is that is a key ingredient to all of this is having the monitor on. It does help, doesn't it? What's so. the rhythm? Oh, I know I you forgot know, something. You can always just, you know, have fun with it and make it up on your own, but. Yeah, it usually works better for the you, patient. If you, there's a Dr. Jarvis person that doesn't like that, so. Mm, not so much. Mm -hmm. You notice Abby just got that I.O. in there, got mm -hmm. it right into the humeral head. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're getting it. some epinephrine in rapidly. I like it. You know, rumor has it that the only thing we really know about epinephrine, um, in addition to, you know, getting pulses back, is that you got to get in quickly. Mm. That's, yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. So, so there goes that life-saving epinephrine. We got the monitor there. We got two-handed seal. Oh my gosh! Yes, how could I miss that? That is. Do you think that, that is some sexy bagging right there? Two-handed seal is like a normal two-handed seal, and they can do tricks. Oh, or like do you think they're like seal barking? Yeah. <laughs> You know, maybe if you bag too much over the filter, it'll make that, that mm -hmm. barking noise, so maybe so. Getting right back on there. Do you see him lift that mandible? I like it. He's not pushing down and obstructing the airway. He's lifting the mandible up into his two-handed seal. I love it. And man, it, they are... It gives them a double chin when you push down, which is probably why we don't do it. It's not very flattering, mm -hmm. is it? I mean, when you're in this position, you at least don't want to look bad. That's probably true. Unless you get some contour... Mm. Some highlights going. This is true. Probably not very likely, though, mm -hmm. is it? You think we carry, like, emergency lashes? We should. Put on? Yeah. Maybe do a little tummy tuck while we're doing compressions. You know, it turns out you probably actually aren't going to get hurt if you uh, are touching the patient when you get shocked. I mean, I kind of want to just to see, but also, like, only on a day I haven't had my coffee yet, so maybe it'll mm. get me to 
Coffee that'll wake level. you up instead. I, I hope so. Man, they are doing. I'm liking that. Very little pause in compressions. Mm -hmm. They are going to town. Their hands are right over, ready to go. Yep, the hover procedure, the hover maneuver. It's like when I'm waiting for like the cookies to cool down. You just kind of keep your exactly. hand over it. You just get closer and closer until it's you know it only yep. gives you like a second degree burn and it's yeah. ready to eat. Or until somebody slaps your hand. And oh, says, that's not happening. I'll, I'll, they're not going to do that to me. Okay. They're going to lose a hand. Yep. Well, so there we are. Go oh, now, did you see where they put that pad? You know mm -hmm. what? I think I'm going to pause right here, and I want to show you something about where I'd really like that to go. All right, so for pad placement with dual sequence defibrillation, go your normal anterior and apex right here, anterior lateral. And then for the second pad placement, come anterior here, right over the front of the heart, and posterior behind the back of the heart. So anterior, posterior, anterior apex, or anterior lateral. So this needs to be on top and behind and put it right over where the heart is. All right, so that's where we'd put him. Look at this though. He's gonna do the dual sequential defibrillation. He's got, he's got one and he's gonna pop the second one and again the Hoover maneuver. Look at that. Didn't even void a life pack warranty. Mm -mm. I like it. And now here comes Abby. Mm -hmm. Here comes Abby with the King Vision in her hand. All right. That didn't really work, did it? Right, oh, suction. did you? It's the sweet, sweet sound of suction. I oh, like yeah. it. That's Look like at one that of with the salad maneuver. A boba tea mm -hmm. straws going in there. Boba tea, yeah. Just yeah. in case you get that boba tea Just uh, in case. stuff coming back out. You know, you now, need I. I will say that maybe if she were holding that King Vision down a little bit lower, lower. she wouldn't be having the challenge. This yeah. looks like a difficult intubation. Yeah, it's very Look, stiff. She just switched right over to the bougie, though. Mm hmm I like it. Bougie, 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 walking out. So I hear that uh, you like to sing Staying Alive to keep the, keep the beat. Is that right? I, I don't like to give false hopes, but I no. do like some... Fergalicious. Give, give me give me some what you got. Fergalicious definition make them boys go look at They always think they know me. Call me to me. Call me Stacy. That's the F to the E R G the I the E and can nobody other do it better than me. That was very good. Yeah. It, so that's what you do instead have, of you know paying attention to the metronome. This yeah, is what no, you're yeah, okay. we don't need that. Um, mm -hmm. But they have asked me to come do like some be like fill-ins when Fergie gets sick on, you know, concerts and stuff. Yeah. So I can see that. Just you know, it's a natural talent. Absolutely, absolutely. After you know this movie, you're gonna have to tell me who Fergie is. But yeah, no, it's it's okay. It's a lot of people know her, but yeah. You know, if you don't know her, that's kind of maybe I should ask my daughter. Yeah, okay. definitely. Right. Yeah, someone someone current with like after two thousands. Huh. <laughs> Just gonna skip right over that. Did you notice there? No pause. Shocked and got right back on the chest. I like it. Abby was even putting the C collar on and held on for just one second while they shocked and then went mm -hmm. ahead and finished it. Yeah, so she didn't get shocked. Yeah. Looks like our commander is putting some amiodarone in through that humoral okay. head IO. I don't know what Amy's doing, but. Really good compressions. I'm liking the compressions. Ten minutes. So ten minutes. Start doing what? Cartwheels or? I think that's yeah, cartwheels. And while you're doing a cartwheel, you can grab the Lucas and mm -hmm. during a normal rhythm check, you can just cartwheel over and have cartwheel. the patient cartwheel with you. Well, and you, she's yeah, you don't want to leave the patient out. Like you mm. know that they would want to have fun with you. That would be rude. Yeah. Put the mannequin arm into the hello y'all position. Mm -hmm. hey -yo. Yep, that's important. Now, do you think there's any risk with that I.O. coming out? Well, maybe, you know, we're still working on how to do it. But the good news is that first dose of epinephrine, which seems to matter, mm -hmm. um, is already in. Okay. And we know we want to get a second line established. Mm -hmm. And maybe by this time we'll be able to get an IV. So that would be good. Okay. Our commander already has one part of the Lucas device attached. And uh, let's see what he does here. But, you know, he's supposed to slap it in in the next rhythm check. Okay. Man, they really are. I like this CPR. They're staying on it. This is what matters. It's mm -hmm. good compressions and defibrillation. I haven't seen any interruption. The drama is building. It is. Can you feel it? I can feel it. It's it's like a little tingly and it's making my hair stand up. Oh. 
That's what's doing that. Okay, I was wondering. Oh, there we go. We shot. Down. And now we're down. Look at that. CPR is going, and Matt is pretending to He's mark pretending to so it doesn't slide around and start compressing on the belly. I think he was just tickling. Oh, it could be. That was a well-done code. I like that.